What's up guys? Today we're going to check out the 2018 Honda Accord Touring. It's the 1.5 liter turbo, not the 2.0 liter turbo, but that doesn't matter because it still has plenty of power, sport mode, and tons of technology that we can go over for days. So the car is priced around $35,000, $36,000, and it has more technology than I've seen in most cars in its class. This Touring model features a heads-up display, Garmin navigation, front parking sensors, back parking sensors, heated seats, cooled seats, memory seats, and a ton of other technology. Not to mention that it tells you what the speed limit is after you pass a speed limit sign. How cool is that? Anyway, let's check the car out. We'll do a walk around. We'll go over all the technology. And if you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. As always, make sure you like the video. If you liked it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see some more content, videos, and how-to videos in the future. Thanks for tuning in. Let's check it out. So right here we have the full LED headlights and your LED fog lights. And you'll also see you have your front parking sensor there. And as we come on over to this side, same thing, you have one right there. So you have full parking sensors all the way around and there's a cool button you can press on the inside uh, to where you can change the camera views and you could also view, like almost like an aerial view of the parking sensors so you can get it from every angle. The body lines, as you can see, are just really good looking. I mean, the car looks fast as it's sitting still. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it it really is a big difference from the 2017 and, and previous models. Down here, we have our big 19-inch wheels with Michelin tires. These specific wheels come on the Sport model and the Touring model. As we come around over here, we have the chrome features on the handles and they just feel solid when you pull on them. I mean, the whole car feels solid. It's a great feel. Coming around here, you have 19 inch wheels again. And then here's your back end. So they have almost a spoiler built in to the trunk, which adds to the look, aerodynamics. And then down here, you have your parking sensors along the whole bumper with your dual exhaust and chrome tips. So they've done an extraordinary job redesigning the whole vehicle. It just looks sporty. It looks fast. And not only does it look sporty and fast, it is sporty and fast. This has a 1.5 liter turbo, eco mode, regular driving mode, and sport mode. Now that we're done taking a look at the back, let's get into the vehicle finally and check out the technology and features that Honda has worked so hard on to make oh so nice. All right guys, so over here you're gonna have memory seats one and two. Then you'll have a 10-way power seat down here with four-way lumbar support. That's gonna go up and down your back and then notice over here on your instrument panel, this little guy here makes it so much easier to control your Honda sensing, sensing features, which are standard on the car. So this is the new screen for the 2018 Accord. Uh, you're gonna have a touch screen right here, and you're gonna have hard buttons on the left and the right. Home, back, brightness, back and forth for your tracks. And then over there, you're gonna have map, phone, audio, and source, and the tuning knob over there. Nice part is it's super responsive to your touch, so you just tap that. Brings you to your navigation screen, your map, it's Garmin based again, which is super user friendly. Then you just hit where to, and just like that, you have all of your options. You can go home, go to your saved locations, or you can go by category, local gas stations, local restaurants, shopping, etc. If we go back home, you also have your phone, FM, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and then if we skip across here, you're going to have your satellite radio system updates, AT&T hotspot, which is standard on this touring model, and then your other uh, radio options as well. This has a NFC connection as well, which is very, very important. This guy right here on the dash, you can hold up your Android phone to that little logo and pair your phone automatically to Bluetooth 
which is just mind-blowing, honestly, when I saw it work. But you can upload pictures, you can pair your phone right away just like that, change the background without even plugging anything in. Now, that's only for Android users, and you can also do Android uh, Auto and Apple CarPlay as well. Another cool feature with this new screen is the fact that you could just grab this little icon here, hold it down, and then all of a sudden you can rearrange any of these icons. There's no more hitting the source button to change your radio source. So if I don't want my navigation here, I can actually just go ahead and hide it and drop it off of there. If I want to take the settings, put it over here, it's that easy. If I want to go over here to this screen, take this AM and bring it over here, I can do that and put it right there. And then if I messed it up completely and I want to start over, just hit the reset button and as easy as that, it's going to reset it back to the factory settings. Cool little easy trick there to rearrange your screen and customize it to your liking. Over here everything is digital and you can actually adjust what you want to see in the center here. You just click this and then you can even just scroll through here. Everything is scrollable on the steering wheel and then you can just land it on whatever you want and it changes. Steering wheel has, this has paddle shifters on both sides. You have your volume radio controls here, Bluetooth. Home button here is going to bring up that screen there. And then you can cycle through those with this little dial right here. Over here, you can adjust what you see in your heads up display up there. Then you also have your cruise control, lane keep assist, and adaptive cruise control settings there. It's these two buttons right here. And then down here, you have all of your climate control and everything's nice and easy to use very easy when you click it it just feels nice it feels quality uh, and then all the dials adjust your temperature right there and there and then what's nice about this model is you have heated seats not only do you have that you have cooled seats so that's a nice little fun feature down here you have your charging pad for your phone now, I don't have a newer iPhone, so I can't show you that, but it does work pretty well. You just put it on there and it starts charging. USB port there. Here's your Econ and Sport Mode buttons. That's going to change your settings of how the car is going to drive. Obviously, Eco is better. Sport is more powerful and more rigid. And this is going to be your new electronic parking brake. So in the newer Honda models, you have this nice-looking mirror that has clean edges. It's almost more of a mirror you would see in a high-end vehicle. Uh, and then you have your garage door opener buttons right there. So up here we have a new feature for Honda. This is going to be your Honda Link and your Honda Link Assist. You can actually subscribe to different levels for the Honda Link. And then you can find your car. You can start your car. You can lock your car from anywhere. Just depending on which subscription level you have. But there's an app you can get on your phone. And can control the whole car from your phone. And then this is to get in contact with anybody. If you get into an accident, you can lift this little door down here and then hit this button. Look, I'm 5'9". I could lay down. I mean, it, it, you have tons of space back here. The car is huge. And then over here, check this out. Heated seats in the back of the Accord. That's right, stepping it up. I'm going to show you how to change your Honda sensing features pretty easy. So I'm going to hit this button here. And it's going to bring up on this screen my Honda Sensing options, all of the features that come with that. So your road departure mitigation, your blind spot information system, your collision mitigation braking system, and then you can exit out of there. And then you can control the other two features, adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist from your steering wheel. But if I just scroll up here and I'm using the little toggle on the steering wheel to scroll, you can just scroll through and... Turn it off, scroll through again, turn it on. So everything's pretty easy to use. You don't have to go through the settings, get confused about what's what and not know how to work it. It's super easy and anybody can do it. As always, make sure you like the video if you liked it and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see some more content videos and how-to videos in the future.